finally, after I don't know how long, it's finally back on two wheels. Paint came out a little bit wider than I uh, anticipated it to be. I just wanted to have white spots just like on the fender right here where you can barely see any white. Came out a little bit more on the bike itself. Fucking spam ass call. But uh, it came out pretty good. Everything's not where it should be with the back because I still have to put the chain and make sure it's all tightened correctly with the chain tensioner, wheel spacer thingamajigs. I don't know what the fuck those are called. Um, but yeah, we're back on two wheels. Uh, I think I'm just gonna do a little bit more. I don't know if I'm gonna put the motor on yet because I have to do the exhaust. But my friend Zach that came over, he was in um, the trash can stack video. He said he's gonna get some pipe that I can use for an exhaust. So if you missed yesterday's video, I showed that the stock exhaust, one of the studs snapped. So I have to make a custom straight pipe. So I'm thinking um, if I put the bike all together, you can probably bring it to his house, weld that up and it should be ready to go. But I just love how these shocks came out or the struts came out so clean. Same thing with the fender, bike's a little eh. But I don't even know what time it is. 10, 20 and we gotta go check those squirrel traps. I watched some video yesterday on uh, this guy was catching tree squirrels, which they're in season right now. So I may set a trap for some tree squirrels and he was using a um, marshmallow with some peanut butter on it to catch tree squirrels and he had a nice little setup on the trees. I think I'm gonna do that, but first I'm gonna go check the traps. Ah, uh, yeah, dude. Uh, back, on, back on two wheels, finally. <laughs> First trap, not even set off. Second trap, nada. I wonder if the food's eating from it. I didn't check to see if the food was there. eating from it. I put, yesterday I came out here uh, about 4.45 and I put some granola and wasn't even touched. This is not even touched either. Huh. So, I guess what I'm gonna do is uh, set these in the trees and try to catch some tree squirrels. Uh, there's a tree over there that I know that always has squirrels on it. There's one in the backyard that I may put just because it's it's up higher so the dog can't get it. And um, I may try a tree over here. I may try that dead one exactly right, right in front of me. Um, because, shit. I guess these holes don't work or they don't want to come out or something. They're hibernating or something. I don't know. Um, but let me release this trap. Didn't hurt as bad as I thought it was going to hurt. Look at that, my, my traps are already rusting. Instead of ground squirrels, we'll try and uh, put this in the tree and try to get a tree squirrel. We got one more trap to um, to check over there. That one I just, just threw out there just because I didn't know where to put it. All right, so I'm here at the, the tree. And what the guy did is he took two screws. I'm gonna use two nails just because it's easier. Like that, and like this. Set it right there. So when the animal comes to get the food that's right here, it's gonna slam right on their head. Hank, so I'll probably nail this chain up here. Good fucking marshmallows. Got that name brand for them squirrels. Off brand. Peanut butter. 
How am I gonna put this on here? Guess that'll that'll do it. And shove that up on there. And set this trap. And this set it right there. And when something comes, nibbles on that, smacks their head. Credit to that guy for giving me this idea. I don't know your name, sorry. But let's go ahead and uh, probably won't show all of them because that's kind of redundant. But I'm going to go ahead and set three more of these traps. And we'll see what else I got going on for today. Fuck, I don't know. Woo, boys, you know how I set this trap over here? I didn't know what I was going to catch. Looked like we got... A freaking possum. Dude, I smacked that possum, bro. Woo! That, dude, this is the trap that I didn't think was going to catch anything. And I actually freaking caught something. Oh, let me get my gloves on. And this guy is definitely dead, but... Dude, first trap on the first night. Look at that. <laughs> Can't believe that shit. Yeah, I cannot believe that shit. This is the trap right here where I was setting it out. I grab it, clamps onto my hand. I trap my own hand, and uh, it caught something better than those squirrel holes over there. But what I'm gonna do with this guy, I'm gonna take him out of the trap, and then I'm gonna set this trap in a tree over here to try to get. I may put one over here because whenever I'm driving on the road, the road's literally right here of our street. I always see squirrels running between our property and that guy's property right there. So I may put one on a tree over there and see if I can get get a squirrel on that trap. But yeah, we got a possum. Um, yeah, first kill. That is what I'm talking about, boys. Yeah, that thing looks gnarly, dude. <laughs> Get out. Well, first kill right there on the body trap. There we go, body trap, first kill. Wish it wasn't a possum, but I'll take it. Yeah, I just looked it up. I knew they ate something, but I couldn't figure out what it was, so I looked it up. And uh, possums eat ticks which ticks over here in the creek are really bad. Every time I went out to the creek and went fishing, probably like four or five years ago, I would always come back with a tick on me. I just hate ticks. But I read that they kill up to 5,000 per season. I guess he ain't gonna be eating any more ticks. But I'm gonna set these up in the tree so we can catch some tree squirrels and not possums because possum isn't what I'm going after. I don't no clue why i put it right here i just put it right there put some granola and uh got a possum but but yeah let's uh let's set these last two traps i got one in here and then this one that caught that guy let's throw them up in the trees and we'll come back tomorrow and check them oh man i got it all put together now i didn't think i would actually get to this today but uh, i just came out here started fiddling with it and uh it got put back together so I flipped the exhaust upside down. So usually this coming straight out would go straight up. So I just flipped it upside down just to get it running. Um, I hooked everything up. Chains are tight, maybe a little too tight. I don't know, I gotta mess with the back wheel and find the position. Um, secondary chain, good. Clutch is good. And uh, throttle's all hooked up. I don't have uh, brakes yet because my brake cable broke. So yeah, there, there's that. Um, not being able to stop, it's gonna be great. But yeah, everything's all put together and uh, we're gonna start it up and see if she runs. Well, I know she's gonna run, but see how it runs on uh, the freshly rebuilt bike. Yeah, that chain's sticking a little bit. That ain't good. A 
lubed it up too. Might have to uh, get a new chain or something, but oh, it's been a while since I've been on this thing. Feels good to be back though. Fuel on, switch on, low oil, low oil sensor, took it off because when you go up a hill, it wants to shut your bike off because the oil drains to the back of the motor. Unplug that. Oh, it feels so weird being on this thing. All right. Damn, look at that. First pull, it started up. This thing's a hog. This thing is a hog. It used to go ripping around all the time. And then uh, that motor plate cracked. And uh, it's, been, uh, it's been down for quite a while, a couple months now. I just never really gotten around to fixing the plate. I finally welded it up, got a new plate on there, hooked it all up. This thing is freshly painted. Mm -hmm. Shitty painted, kind of, <laughs> not that bad, I mean. You know, obviously, it's already coming off right there where that zip tie is, but. You know, freshly painted bike. It's a hog, we're gonna go ripping all the time now. With Zach and Jed, they got hogs, and there, there's like five, six different guys that have mini bikes, and we all go cruising together. So, if you don't like out for more videos like that, um, it's a fun time cruising out on these mini bikes. Just taking over the road with a bunch of people on on mini bikes so um for those of you guys that are wondering where are the mudding videos you said if i got 500 likes i would take my truck mudding well it's raining right now and the thing with california is we have such a dry hot summer that when winter comes this is probably the first it's been raining it's probably like the third week not in a row, but like the third week that has, that it has rained. And uh, the ground just soaks up all the water. Literally, you can go out the next day and there will be no mud whatsoever. It would, it's gonna be thick, because it's gonna soak up all the moisture, but there's no like standing water, mud, or anything like that. It's all soaked up from the ground. So I'm waiting for it to you know, rain a lot. This coming winter, we'll take my truck mudding when there actually is a lot of mud and it's not just thick mud that you can't really you know have fun and i like going in mud puddles getting my truck all muddy when you got thick mud like there is on this can-am um i mean it's, it's still fun but like i'd rather go through mud that's you know watery mud if that makes any sense i don't know how you guys are when you guys go mudding but Fuck, rain, dude. But yeah, that's that's what I'm waiting for. I am gonna bring you guys mudding videos, so stay tuned for that. And uh, shit. I don't really have anything else to do, but stay tuned for one of the next videos. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a cheap, inexpensive welding project to give to someone for Christmas. You know, Christmas, it's all about giving. Same thing with Thanksgiving, it's all about giving but stuff has more about, 
more sentimental value if you make something yourself and give it to someone other than buying a really expensive gift and giving it to them. So it makes you feel good, it makes them feel good. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys how to make a cheap, inexpensive, like $30 um, welding project. So be on the lookout for that. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you guys wanna see more videos with the hog or trapping, or just let me know in the comments below what you guys wanna see. I'm all ears. I got all the time in the world to make videos. So let me know in the comments below what kind of videos you guys want to see. I know Adam just got an EGR delete, a downpipe, and a whole bunch of stuff for his truck. So we may put that in a video. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Dip in diesel.